Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and videos. Uh, today's another sketchbook tour! Yay! Woo! Yeah, it's... Last week I actually painted this cover of this sketchbook. It is my 33rd sketchbook and I finally finished it. I started it all the way back in September of 2023. I basically finished it today. Um, but this is the opening page. This is what I finished drawing today. Basically, this page has been blank for the longest time, and I finally filled it in today. But here we have the dates. So from September 1st, 2023 to January 21st, 2024, which is today, the day the, this video should be coming out. But um, I just, I just finished, I just finished the book. I, I've just started recording. <laughs> Moving on. Here's some planning. Uh, here are some of the original sketches of this character. Um, I don't even know if you can see that. But here's like the main drawing of her. I, I love this drawing. This is like genuinely one of my favorite drawings in this book. Anyway, she does not have a name. She is a witch. Moving on. Uh, <laughs> this is actually the first page I started drawing on. Me and my friend he came over and we were drawing mushrooms. And I have no idea if you can see any of it. Um, but we were drawing some mushrooms together, and that, that's really, that's really all that page is about. Uh, this, these two drawings are some character design for a very important character in my character universe, my story, stories. I'm not gonna go much into them, but they're very important. And then this is, um, Ruby. Here is some, uh, for class, for... Yep. For class, for my comic book class, I was doing a little comic of what I had done over the summer, so that's what happened. Uh, they're all very messy sketches. And then this is some sketches of one of my very close friends. <laughs> Here are some <laughs> drawings of animals playing instruments. <laughs> this is one of the most random things that I've like ever thought of. I actually wanted to make these into sculptures. Uh, I still want to do that, but I have actually developed these characters a lot more. You'll, you'll see them later on. Right here. Here's some more animals playing instruments, but this is actually the cat character. She's playing the bass. Her name is Millie. That's what her name is. I'll probably change it though. Uh, this is the barn owl, who is like the lead uh, he's the rhythm guitarist and the lead singer. And then there's a height comparison between him and Millie. I think his name is Oscar. Here's some more of Millie and then here's some drummer drawings. He's a red panda. Um, his name is Bam and I love him with all my heart. He's so cute. <laughs> oh my gosh. I really got into these characters. So this is Chad. He's a, he's a raccoon. He's the lead guitarist and this is is this Oscar or is this Oliver? They have very similar names, the owl and the fox. Fox plays the uh, keyboard, by the way. Uh, but they have very similar names, and I don't know if it's... No, he's Oliver, because they call him Ollie. He's Oscar, because he's preppy. I don't know, that was my reasoning behind it. There's the height comparisons between all of them. I think it's pretty funny. More furry characters. Yay. Uh, th I'm just thinking of these as like side characters for that universe. She's my favorite. She's pretty. Uh, moving on. This is a really random character. I think my friend drew this one, but the rest is done by me. Um, just a random girl with eyeballs for hair. It's, it's kind of cool. And then there's a little Millie drawing. And then more eyeballs in different styles. More Millie drawings. Uh, this looks like a cat zoon uh, ripoff. I swear it's not. She's not a purple cat. She is a black cat, but all I had was the purple pencil. Uh, and then here's like sort of a bass, her bass guitar design. And then my friend drew that one. Uh, here is probably one of my least favorite pages in the entire sketchbook. Um, is this boring? I don't like it very much. Uh, I also just had Amazon sticky notes, so I stuck them in there. Here is also a lazy page. This this paint 
thing here is actually from when I first painted this sketchbook and I peeled it off and then I just stuck it in here. Then we have a drawing of Rosa and then some other random drawings. I think my friend drew that. <laughs> Ooh. This is my Succubus character. I don't remember her name, if she even had a name. She's one of my favorite characters. I drew her for Halloween. And this is a completely different character. But I, this is like one of my favorite earlier pages in the whole book. Uh, it's cute. I like it. There's some good sketches, then there's some not so good sketches, but it's good. It's good. Um, here's some more of those Halloween characters. Got the little slime girl and the werewolf hunter, whatever his name is. And then we got some random heads. Really, just random randomness. <laughs> my god. This, this is one of my friends. Uh, I drew him as cat boy. Not much else to say about that. That's it. I, I, I'm not sorry about it. Oh, uh, this is sort of a self-portrait. Uh, and then on this side, my friend was showing me, uh, like, the interior of her car. So she drew it out, and then I drew myself, uh, and commented how I almost drove off, drove off a cliff. Um, we don't talk about it. Here's some sketching of a outfit that I had for Halloween. It was a vampire costume. It was really cool. You'll see more of it later. Uh, this page, um, this is one of my characters, Vivian. Uh, I like this drawing, and then I add the, added the glasses, and, and now I don't like it as much. Um, it's a mixture of acrylic paint and my Artex paint markers. Then over on this side, it's just a bunch of random heads. Really, just really random. Uh, here we got some more doodles. We got Jessica Rabbit. We got random Cyclops girl from my monster lineup. Got vampire me, random elf girl. Um, and then here's some little doodles of my of my best friend. Uh, open it up, here's like a better drawing, I guess. Little goobers and then inside is like kind of what he looks like. Here is sort of the Halloween costume vampire thing that I wore. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, then you actually will see the, um, the photos of myself in the actual costume. It was a fun costume. I enjoyed it very much. Here's a really random page. I think these are supposed to be Beast Boy and Raven from Teen Titans. But then the rest is just really random character designing. Like, this is on a piece of paper towel. I don't know why that's in there. More paper towel. Okay. I like texture in my books. Uh... I think it was Halloween night, and I asked my friends what I should draw, and someone said Spongebob, so I drew, sp I drew Spongebob. <laughs> the rest, I don't really know what it is. Just random characters. Oh, here is some, like, crochet clothing designs that I made. If you remember one of my past videos during Halloween, uh, I made granny squares with skulls on them and made them into pants. Uh... Here I took the same skulls and then I made them into a hat and a bustier top. I actually did make this. Um, I do want to alter it a little bit because it's kind of clunky. But it's, it's still good. And then over on this side was a random guy playing guitar, I guess. Here is some clothing designs. If you saw my video like two weeks ago, I did some clothing designs. But here's more. This is sort of what prompted me to do it. This is based off of the uh, Starry Night painting. And then these are some really random ones. I really, I would wear this, to be honest. They're my favorites. Uh, here's another Millie drawing. I actually finished this yesterday. Uh, it's still a mixture of paint, acrylic paint, and the Artex paint markers. It's okay. I like the, the like, color for fur. Uh, and then on this side is just some really random sketches of characters. Here is like some sort of self-portrait stuff. And then random stuff I stuck in. Uh, here are some crochet items. More, I guess, of that. Some of those I actually drew in that clothing design video. Like this I kind of drew. This one I kind of drew. Um, that one I kind of drew. That I kind of drew. But I got more. I got more ideas. 
This uh, is me on a giant wolf saying I'm the Rat King with a rat times 10,000, I guess. I'm not going to go into that. Uh, but here's some Oscar and Oliver. Oscar and Ollie. They just hanging out. And on this page, I actually did this, made this into a digital drawing, like a full thing. Um, but it's Millie and Ol Oscar doing some makeup. I don't know why. I thought it was a fun idea. Um, I actually do prefer this a little bit more to the um, digital drawing. I don't know. I like I like the purple. Here, uh, on this side, this is me and my best friend. We went to see Barbie together, and I dressed up to see Oppenheimer for some reason. But there's the ticket, and that's us going. And then this is just a really random sketch. The bus pass has nothing to do with it. But this is just a random sketch of a character. This is actually one of my favorite sketches in this book. I, I love it for some reason. The pose, it turned out really well. I don't think I used a reference for it either. Oh, this... <laughs> This is a praying mantis cowboy. It was like the most random thing, but I love him. He doesn't have a name, but he's, I think he's so fun, so goofy. This is a really good sketch of him. Um, I have no how, idea how to draw a praying mantis, but here he is as a cowboy. That's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, here's another sort of cowgirl character. She's based off a spider. Uh, it's okay. This is my friend's character. Uh, I want to draw and I didn't know what to draw and he's like here draw my character and I said okay so I did here it is this sketch I like particularly it's very um reminds me of Jojo's Bizarre Adventure very much I really like her I don't know her name <laughs> here's more of it this is funny to me I don't know what was going in my head I'm just like I have to draw her in this very specific thing and then I drew a little bit more of her This is my little goat boy. I think I named him Reuben. Uh, you'll see him later on. Here we got more Millie. More Millie. Ran this random cat. Uh, Oscar and Oliver. Not very interesting. Oh, this is a random space painting I did. I really like it. It's cool. It also happens to be directly in the middle of the book. It may not look like it. But it definitely is. It definitely is to me. It's definitely in the very middle. Here's some really random doodles. This isn't really an art page. I think these are from McDonald's. And I didn't know what to do with them, so I stuck them in here. They're very thick. They've definitely thickened up this book. I don't know what any of this is. More random head doodles. I like to just doodle heads sometimes. Uh, this is kind of boring. But these are some product ideas. I've, I'm working maybe on an online store. Maybe, possibly. So I was coming up with ideas, and then I was drawing like little goobers, chibi ideas. These are some like painting ideas that I have, and they're all based on space because I love space and I need to paint more space. Space, space, space. More space. Oh, I personified space as a person because I love space that much. Um, she's, they're very pretty. I love them. More of this nonsense um i think i killed my pen when because i drew so much but it's more space paintings that's kind of cool uh more of the space paintings but with jellyfish that's kind of cool and then this is with me and a bunch of friends i was explaining to another friend about my friends i'm not really sure <laughs> this it's really random. It's kind of a self-portrait with like a chunkier art style. Uh, I glued in like random sticky notes and then I took crayons and then drew it and then took glitter glue and stickers and and, and it's basically like a kindergarten art project. But I kind of like it. Uh, more sort of random self-portrait alongside like other random doodles and then that. <laughs> Oh, this was for a YouTube video. I painted more space because I love space so much. Uh, here I was testing out some like old Crayola markers, I guess. And then I just sort of like stuck stickers over top. And then this one just has a bunch of doodles. Uh, here's some like 
blocky art with some puff gum markers. Um, not much to say it. And then there's just like just random jewels. Uh, this is me and my friends as like in this in the Scott Pilgrim sort of art style. It, it's fine. It's all right. More crayon drawings. More Millie, random girl. More crayon. It's waxy. Um, here's just some more random doodles. This is one of my uh, more important characters. Um, Bella. It was just like with some pencil crayon. Oh, this is my D and D character, Rio. I almost forgot her name for a second. She's really cool. She's a dragonborn bard. Um, just like look at her. She's so cool. I love her so much. It's my first time ever playing D and D, and this is what I make. And honestly, her actual personality does not match what she looks like at all, and I love it. Uh, these are some old, like, color swatches, like really old, like 2019. Uh, but I just needed something to cover up this page, so I stuck these in there. Then here are some random stickers, random stickers and some doodles, and then, like, some wrappers of chocolate. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is me and my friends at a, uh, the school dance or something. We all dressed fancy, because it was like a winter formal or whatever. And then there's a random sketch of a witch. Uh, I tried doing a little perspective art with a random character that I randomly made up. It's okay, not the greatest, but whatever. Uh, here's some more comic stuff. Uh, more comic storyboard stuff. More of that. More of more storyboards. And then this is just like some random doodlings with a random characters with a fountain pen. It's alright. I like this and these two are my personal favorites and that one. Oh, this one. This is Rio's mom. And then here's Rio with his mom. She doesn't have a name, but this I kind of like whipped up last night. I was going to do like a full painting of it and then I just didn't. But I kind of like it. Here we got more storyboard stuff. Wow. Even, okay, this is some character design for that comic. Um, more sort of character design and then Amazon delivery box. Not much to say about that. Uh, this is a really random character that I just started randomly drawing. She's sort of like an assassin looking thing. thing? Yep, that makes sense. Uh, it's kind of cool. There's more of her. I guess sort of more headshots. I like this one a lot. Um, it's all right. This is just a really random character. It was just like with a marker. I just started drawing. Uh, it's very wonky and very bad. Uh, this is an awful page. This is just a piece of paper towel that I glued in here and then I painted over top of it. Why? I don't know, but I like the texture. Uh, here's just some more random doodles and random like little comic, like those bu bubble, double bubble gum comics in here. Uh, this is a another character for another story that I'm working on, and here's sort of the comic stuff I'm working on for that. Um, also a random clip of David Tennant for some reason that I randomly found. I thought it was funny, so I stuck it in here. Uh, there's that character again. This is actually one of my favorite paintings in the entire book. Uh, what's her name? Her name is B. Um, yes, I would design her around the same time I started Jujutsu Kaisen. <laughs> so it is totally influenced and I have gotten a lot of people saying that it looks like Gojo. Uh, but there's some more designs of her. I prefer this like puffier jacket on her to be honest. I don't know if you can really see that. Uh, more sort of character design alongside uh, poses and some storyboards. Uh, this is when I got my Ardex acrylic markers and I was just sort of playing around with them. Here's some more of that. Here's the full color swatch of them. And the, there's a random cat drawing I did. And then a random girl. She kind of looks like Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas. 
Uh, here's a really random character. Nothing more to say about that other than it's just a random character. Here's her again. I liked the idea of this, but I thought it'd be cooler to make her a little bit older. Uh, and then here is her with another character that I've drawn earlier in the book. I was going to paint over this, and then I didn't. I got lazy, and I just really wanted to finish this book. So there's that. Oh, this is some random... This is from a draw a photograph. I, I drew it. And then some random Poscas, and then my friend actually drew on this page. Uh, I think it's his character Sky and a mushroom. She's like based off a mushroom, I think. Pretty cool. Here are some random angel drawings, like sort of the biblically accurate angels. Um, that's for another story. But you may have, if you've seen my past sketchbook tours, you may have seen her around, her specifically. The other ones, not so much. And this is the final spread of the book. Uh, it's just, it's random. I've just, I just stuck a lot of stuff in here and did some like really random drawings. It's not very good, but I kind of like it at the same time. I like the, I like the texture. But that is the entire sketchbook. Finally, it is over. Finally, I can, st I can start a new one. Um, it's waiting for me. It's a big one. Uh, hopefully I'm gonna actually paint on the cover first thing this time rather than uh, leave it sitting until the very end and then I feel guilty about it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye bye